Okay guys, it's that time of year again. It's Craftmas time! Oh Craftmas tree, oh Craftmas tree, oh how the glue gun burns me! Tree. This was the very first Kravitz tree that I made. It's uh, it's definitely seen some stuff. And then last year I made a six foot tall version that was bright pink. I did also add a little TV with a fireplace and also little stockings with me, Tori, Thomas, and Benji's name on them. But unfortunately, when you start getting that big, uh, the cone just kind of crushed in on itself. And let's just say that 2019's Kravitz tree is uh, no longer with us. But this year we're gonna make a 15 foot tall one. I've been planning how we're gonna make it out for months and I made some sch schematics. Uh, here's uh, some, some math uh, and stuff. Anyway, let's run through some of the steps that we have to go through uh, in order to make something this giant. Okay, so in order to make this thing work, we're gonna have to go through a few steps. So step number one, we have to make the paper. And when I say make paper, we literally have to make our own because they don't sell them as one giant sheet. So we're gonna have to like duct tape uh, sheets of paper together in order to make this work. Number two is we cut out the pattern from the scale model that we made. Uh, this is it. Basically, we made a cone and then we did a bunch of fun math. It was uh, it was a night project. <laughs> what is this, Kyle? Math. It's a basic design for the craftsmas tree. Our key measurements and where they're gonna go. Basic ideas. This is just an example I did earlier. But yeah, this is gonna let the craftsmas tree happen. I I feel like I'm recording like kids opening up their Christmas presents right now. Just doing math like. and making cones. <laughs> Step number three, we roll the patterns into the cone shape. Step number four, we're gonna reinforce it. Step number five, we're gonna glue on 10,000 spoons. But first, uh, we have to cut all of them. Oh man. <laughs> Step number six, spray paint the craft mystery. Okay, and the final step, we have to put it together. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> okay, so we have to make this shape on the ground right here. Okay, so this looks like a good point to start. <laughs> I don't have chalk, I should have bought chalk. But yeah, right here. Good enough, we need 15 feet from here. And we're gonna take this guy. 15 feet from here. Shock next time. Woo! Okay, now it's time to roll out our paper. Woo! Okay, now it's time to tape it together. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, so now we have to try and flip this entire thing over without ripping it. Wish me luck. Okay, time to tape the other side down, and then we have to draw all this stuff out again. Oh, I'm so tired, but before the sun goes down, we have to cut this into pieces. I guess I'll start with the outside first. Okay! Let's do this! <laughs> I stole Kyle's joke. He slept Wi-Fi. Awkward. Just kidding. Not yet. Okay. Um. Okay. I think that I think I'm gonna call it quits for the night. Uh. But then tomorrow we are gonna make these into the individual cone shapes. So out of the next step, I'm gonna call it quits for now. Okay, guys. So it's the next day. We have all the wall pieces cut up into strips. Oh, forgot my hat. And now we basically. Oop. And now we basically have to make the little discs right here. The, but you know, we have to make the giant version. So there's one on the top, one on the bottom, and then one in between each of these. So total, we're gonna have to do nine and a half discs with the biggest one being about eight and a half feet. So I guess we might as well start off with the first one. Okay, so for this first one, we're gonna need uh, with a radius of about nine inches and 16 inches wide. So this ought to do it. 
So 18 inches wide. Perfect. So that should be the middle. Now that we have the middle, we just take our string. Give it a boop. And we're just gonna do this, put it right on, make this nine inches long. And now we just make the circle. Well, we have a general shape of what we want. Break out our exacto knives, just cut it out. Yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, we got our first round disc. I actually have to make two of these, but anyway. Now I'm gonna build the tippy top part of the cone. And I actually put a little line here so I know where to fold it. This is kind of big, so I might need a little bit of help to put the hot glue on. Here we go. Hot glue this bad boy together. Ah, oh, that's so hot. Okay, so now that we have our cone, theoretically, sh this should just match up perfectly. So it looks like we have a little bit of a, a problem. The circle's a little bit too big. I think we might have done our math a little incorrectly. So I'm just gonna outline this. It's okay, we're just fixing our mistakes. Gonna recut it, regroup. Okay, time to see if this actually fits. Yeah, we got the top part basically done. Now we have to do the other parts. Okay, so now that we got the very top of our cone, I'm to do section number two. Yeah, it just goes right underneath. Great, talk of the tricky part, gluing it all together. So we got our cone, we put the disc inside of there. There we go. Then we have to hot glue it all together. Oh, I would say so far, it's a success. Now we have to do the bottom uh, cardboard disc for this guy. But it's so big at this point, that I'm gonna have to start taping cardboard pieces together. That should fit. Brace it out. Oh, cut this out. It looks a little lopsided for some reason. I also forgot to take the other side. Woo, okay. Number four. They're just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. So this is actually getting so big that I have to get supports to hold up the walls. So I'm gonna be hot gluing all these boards on the inside of each one of these, just like this. Oh, and the top, perfect. Just gotta hot glue this puppy into place. Woo, okay, the top is on. Wow, this is incredibly solid. I'm actually really happy with this. Dude, this is awesome. We are now taller than me. Now on to section four. Now we need a piece of cardboard that's four feet wide. Time to tape one together, I guess. Now we tape these bad boys together. Perfect. Okay, this one is uh, quite a bit bigger. Now we gotta glue the disc inside of this one. Okay, and another one down. Now we gotta move it and go on to the next one. Let me roll it over. Go up on its side, roll it over. There we go. Wow! Pretty big so far. Okay, now for the second to last one. This is gonna be a crazy pursuit. You ready for this? Flip it open. Oh, this is how big it's gonna be. So the cardboard's so thick that we have to use a jigsaw to cut it. Okay, so we have this much done, and uh, we're just uh, opening up some more hot glue. Bobby, I think we need to buy more hot glue. I think we're running out, man. I hope we have enough hot glue. Time for the big one. Oh my gosh. Okay, right on top. This is the second to the bottom. There we go. So it's about this tall, and we still have a whole nother section to go. <gasps> this is crazy. Wow. Day three of making this thing and I am so tired. Okay guys, we're gonna cut a door hole so that we can go inside of this. Now that I think about it, scissors would have probably sufficed. Oh, it's ominous. Hey. Hey. Oh, 
We are now inside of the craft mess tree. We have to make the last ring and then cut it in half because it's so freaking big, we can't put it out the door so that we can paint it outside. Okay guys, now we have to cut this bad boy in half. Okay, let's hope I don't mess this up. I guess I could. It would be a lot easier if I had scissors. It is now cut in half. So now we're basically just doing the supports on the inside so that it doesn't collapse on itself. Okay guys, the supports are all in. We can crawl in it now and it won't break on top of us, hopefully. Oh no! That's not good. Might still need to fix a couple things. We're gonna move all this, and then we're gonna put the bases underneath, and hopefully it doesn't collapse on us. Oh boy, I'm so nervous. We're gonna put the top on to see if it if it, if it holds the top. I'm putting it on, guys. No, Robbie, come on. No, Robbie, don't like that. Guys, it supports itself. Oh my gosh. The 15 foot tall craft mystery. Beautiful. Okay guys, so now it's time for one of the most important parts of the video. The spoons. <sighs> tree that I made took around 150 spoons. I'm not really sure. And I thought it took forever when I did it. Little did I know, last year I made a six foot tall version. And unfortunately had some structural integrity problems, um, which I kind of fixed in this design for this year. But we basically lost it. But we still have all the spoons from it. And last year it took about 1,500 spoons. Now for this year, our 15 foot tall Goliath of a tree. And we're estimating that's gonna take around 10,000 spoons. So that means we're gonna have to cut 8,500 more spoons. <sighs> Luckily I got some help this year. Okay guys, we're gonna cut a bunch of spoons. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, let's do this. <laughs> okay, box for the handles, box for the actual spoons. So basically guys, we're just gonna go and cut right there. Handles, spoons. Now we just have to do that with 8,000 more. <gasps> okay, so now that we have successfully cut 8,500 spoons, it's time to start gluing them onto the tree. Oh, day four, let's do this. Based on the schematics of the of the first craft of this tree, you're gonna want to put a little bit of glue, glue it right on. You gotta hold it till, till it's good. And we're good! Next one. And down we go. Tree, 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 tree. Oh my gosh, that thing's huge. And on to the next section. It's beautiful. Woo, okay, now it's time to paint. I need gloves. Okay, so we actually had to move it out so that we could paint it. It is a pain in the butt. <laughs> and we're moving it into the garage because we don't want to get paint all over our neighbor's yard and stuff. Day five of working on the craft mystery. <laughs> Some spoons just hanging on for dear life. <laughs> You're on spoon patrol, Tori. If any fall off, you have to grab them. Oh, it glows in the dark. That this is a craft oh. tree, just like this. They're beautiful. Oh no, still not their monster. Oh wow, this is crazy. Set up an area so that the garage doesn't get spray paint all over it. <sighs> Okay, 
bottom half number one. Okay, let's move this thing. Oh, this thing is so big. <laughs> I don't like this paper. Take it down. Okay. Thanks, Daddy. Oh, I forgot this was on. Woo! Okay, now it's time to put it all together. Oh, we did it, guys. 15 foot tall Christmas tree. And it only took five days with five people working 12 hours a day. I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. <laughs> Okay guys, if you like the video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. It looks something like this, find it right down there. If you guys like this video, you guys will watch even more fun craftmas videos. I actually have a whole playlist that you can watch right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want some cool merch like this or this, you can click right here. Please buy my merch, this craftmas tree was very expensive. And if none of that stuff sounds fun, you can always click the mystery card. Okay guys, love you so much, I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi awkward ending. Okay, bye.